Hi, I'm Engineer Bill. I haven't put out a video in a long time, and mostly because I'm just too busy. Videos take a long time to edit and to process and to adjust the camera and the lighting. I don't have time for that. On my last video, I mentioned that I was doing a lot of work on the boat, and so I wouldn't be putting out hardly any videos anymore. Uh, and that's what I'm doing today. I am actually working on the boat, even though I'm not on the boat itself. I try to get somebody to do the canopy or our new top for the boat and screening and a bunch of other stuff. Right now, it's very difficult to get anybody to do that kind of work. Uh, all of the people that have done this as a career are retiring and all the new people don't want to do that kind of work. So I decided, forget it, I'll do it myself uh, with my wife's help, of course. And so what I'm doing today is I want to mount my solar panels on top of my bimini top or, or my enclosure. Right now I have them up in a way that I don't really like them, but when I'm doing the whole enclosure top, I will make sure I sew on an extra part like this. This will get sewed on separately to the top. I've already sewn on half the zipper to this solar panel. I've actually had people that do this for a living say, well, no, they've never sewed on to the solar panel directly. This is semi-flexible and it's plastic, but you do have to have the right kind of sewing machine, an industrial level sewing machine to get through here. And that's what I have over here. I went and bought one. <laughs> I can buy one and all this material and it's still gonna come out far cheaper than having someone else do this, of course. And there's the skill level. I'm using this to sew on to the outside. This is the same material, the cell right material, and the same color to match what's going up on the enclosure. And I'm sewing this in a particular way where, where it will close up the zipper opening from the sun so the actual plastic zipper doesn't see the UV light. And I'm using this double-sided tape where did I get all this stuff from? Cell right, S A I L R I T E. Uh, they have pretty good prices, and everything's there. So I'm going to go along and put this kind of where I want it. I can do this without the double-sided tape, but this makes sure it stays where I want to put it, especially since this is, if you can see it, it's kind of curved because of the way it comes out in the spool. So I don't have to worry about that as long as I straighten it out, put it on this double-sided tape, leave it a little long. Crush it down there and make sure it's good. Okay, this is where I want it. Take it off the zipper. I go over to the machine and I sew it. It stays where I want it. Okay, one of the things I've been working on is our windshield wipers on the boat. We have three big ones. This is what was on there before the size. Uh, with an older boat, people tend to get what they can get and fit it on there, and that's fine. But the original size, which I have, look at the difference in size. You know, there's another two or three inches. Uh, does it make a difference? No, not really. But I can tell you, these are kind of like uh, car blades. And these are heavy duty industrial blades, so these will be far superior. I have to replace the arm because the arms are getting rusty. Now let me tell you about a used boat. Like my boat is about 25 years old. Some boats are much older. And that's the only way you can get into a boat is, uh, especially one my size with my budget, is to get an older one. 
Well, that doesn't alleviate you from extra cost. Boats are expensive. You buy a new one, you don't have to replace the parts. You buy an old one, you have to eventually start replacing a lot of parts, and that's what we've been doing all along. But at least it's uh, not in one bite. You can do it a little bit each year. This is something else we just finished, one of our first projects. This is the material we had on the boat. And this goes in our cockpit area and it covers the windows for when you want privacy or when you're going away for a couple of weeks and you're not going to be back even for a month or two. Then you cover everything up and you button it down and that keeps the UV from coming in. Sometimes we go on the boat just for the day or for one day because we're working on it and you don't want to take everything off because you need it to block some of the sun, but you want to see outside a little bit to see what's going on. So now for our whole front windshield, I made this and I don't know if you can see me back here. I can see you, but this filter is about 80% or 85% of the sun. But once you put it on, you can still see out, believe it or not. And this gets pretty big. I still haven't put the snaps on it yet, but it wasn't very difficult to make. I think uh, the quote I had for doing this was maybe a thousand dollars. Maybe it was five hundred dollars, but I think I have, except for the sewing machine I had to, had to buy, I think I have maybe thirty dollars worth of materials in it and thread. And it, and it's kind of funny when you get quotes for having. A canvas maker do these kind of things you know what what do they put on the quotes they tell you what kind of thread they put on uh, some thread will only last about three or four maybe five years and other thread which is a lot more expensive which is what I used on here it's lifetime thread and it'll last a lifetime you know do, do they specify what kind of thread they're putting in there do they sp specify what kind of uh, seam they're doing uh, I like having control over that stuff, so I'd rather do it myself. Now, there's one thing about sewing. I've had a friend and I said, well, why don't you get a sewing machine? He says, oh, I don't sew. That's, that's for women. Well, this is an industrial sewing machine. As an engineer, I had to specify a lot of sewing applications. You know, you don't go to the store and say, well, I, uh, I have a stunt man that's doing a particular stunt and I, he needs to wear a harness that will save his life. Uh, what do you have uh, uh, in stock or what can he make for me? They're not going to do any of that stuff. Uh, OSHA wants to see verification and engineering data to support that your sewing or what you're specifying as a sewing and a harness is going to actually save the guy's life or else you're, you're in big trouble. So engineer, a theme park engineer, not all of them, but some of them need to become specialist in knowing what thread to specify, how to specify the, the threading. It just, it goes on a blueprint, just like any other mechanical drawing print. You've got to do all that stuff. There's many applications, oh, not many, maybe three times in my career where I had to be a specialist. And if you're not a specialist in a sewing for netting applications where stunt men are going to be jumping in on that. There's companies that do do this kind of stuff and they have their own engineers and staff. But when you have a one or two piecer, they're not going to bother with you. You have to do it in house and you have to have the skill set in house to specify the threads, how they're sewn on the pattern, you know, the whole nine yards. And it's much more detailed than you'd ever think. And this is how it happens in in engineering department at Universal Studios. Okay, we got to specify harnesses for this and this and this. <laughs> we don't know anything about this. We're bringing in a specialist, uh, a company that builds these things, but they're, they're going to help us on what we're going to specify. But here's a book, become an expert by next week. And that's what you do. You study, 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 you learn everything you can, and you become an expert very quickly. It's a requirement. Anyway, so this was actually pretty easy to do, except look at this table. My pool table is underneath here, and you need something big to handle the big projects. Over here, we do a little bit smaller projects. 
Sometimes I have to put the sewing machine up against the table because the project like this one was so big you needed you need to be able to move it around. You can't have it draping over. You need it to slide. I got a lot to do. So I can't be filming all the time. I need to get busy. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm sorry I'm not putting out very many videos. I'll try to do a few more boat videos, but they're not going to be coming as fast as my other videos, which were pretty slow to begin with. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.